Right now I'm on a French municipal campsite and in the distance there hopefully you can see some tents at caravans. Anyway, if you're wondering what is a municipal campsite in France, how it works and why you'd even want to go to one, then stick around because I'm going to show you around this place and explain how it works. But to start off, let's meet at the entrance. The first thing to know is that these municipal campsites are scattered all over France. There's about 3,000 of them in all different sorts of locations. Here we are by the Loire River, but you can find them next to towns, in mountain areas, along the river. But wherever you are in France, you likely won't be far from a municipal campsite. And these are in some way sponsored by the local mayor. They're extremely cheap and they're there to encourage people to go and live the outdoor life. But for tourists, they're a very convenient and cheap way of exploring different areas of France. And this particular campsite that I'm staying at is very scenic. And as you can see, there's the option of renting boats. And in terms of how to find where these municipal campsites are, I find the best way is to search on Google Maps for Camping Municipal and it will show you the nearest location. And for me on this bike tour that I've been doing along the Loire River, I've never been more than 20 kilometers from a municipal campsite, which is really convenient. And of course, you can either ring in advance to book or what I do is just turn up. And when you turn up, you'll find a reception area like this. And you can normally check in from about 2.30 until 7pm. Uh. As I mentioned, these campsites are very cheap and for me to stay here with a bike and a tent is about eight euros, which is about seven pounds. And you can see the prices here of how much it's gonna cost if you want to stay in a camper van, for example but the nightly price is normally very cheap and accessible for anybody. Now this particular campsite is a three star campsite. All the ones I've stayed at have been two or three stars, but it depends on the facilities that are available. Some of them have swimming pools, some of them have table tennis. There are things like badminton courts, Once you've checked in, the first thing you're going to want to do is find a space and sometimes you'll be allocated a specific numbered space for your private area or they'll just tell you that you can just go and find a space and that's the case with this campsite because I think there's so much space available and there's not many people Well, it's such a large campsite that it doesn't really matter where you go, you're going to find a private space. In terms of what types of people are attracted to municipal campsites, well it's single travellers like myself travelling by bike or couples or groups of people travelling by bike. It's retired people with camper vans, families with camper vans, all sorts of people. I saw someone checking in the other day with a pony with all their stuff loaded on a pony so there's really no restrictions. As you can see, the spot that I've got here is kind of on its own. This is my sixth night now staying in municipal campsites. And I had some bad luck where I was staying next to somebody that was kind of having a bit of a party and I had to move my tent in the middle of the night. So that's one thing to take into consideration. But like I said before, at this point, this campsite's pretty empty. So I can't imagine it, what it would be like if it was full, there would be a lot of people And the other thing that I wanted to show you is called the Sanitaire. It's the sanitary facilities, which is where you go to clean things up. So it's got your toilet facilities, individual cubicles. It's got shower cubicles. It's got places where you can do your washing up if you're cooking for yourself. 
and it's even got places where you can do your clothes washing and sometimes they even have a washing machines and ironing boards. I can't show you this right now to respect people's privacy because there's people in there but I'll try to get a few sneaky shots later to show you what it's like. And if you're staying in a tent and you've got one of these, you'll likely want to be able to charge it overnight. And that's one of the facilities that I found municipal campsites don't really have. But one thing that you can do is basically go to the sanitary facilities and find a spare plug socket and plug it in. But obviously that's kind of at your own risk. Some municipal campsites have an on-site restaurant or bar or snack bar and this one in particular doesn't have one on-site but it has a couple of places just outside the entrance which you could just as easily use but right now these aren't open in the evening. That was a very quick run through of how municipal campsites in France work. If you've got any more questions or you think I missed something just leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.